is up YouTube, uh, Lazy Llama here, and here we are back with some Sorma Simulator Evolutions once again. Um, it shows it's been four days, it's actually been like three days and like two hours or something. Um, I haven't really been on all the week, all weekend, it's kind of what became the issue, so we're going to have a lot of stuff to kind of make up. This is awesome, uh, if you've unlocked a new ability for territory, to, creatures to become empowered, uh, when you empower creatures, you lose all of that type. Then newly hatched powered versions will be more powerful. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Um, that wasn't here, right? Merge swings. How do you do it? Is it in the territory tab? I think I remember that. Hmm. I think I remember. What is that goon? Oh god. <laughs> it's got like guns. Yeah, it's metal. Interesting. Goons cannot fly. Oh, interesting. Little creatures there. Okay, so to start off, again, there's the cocooning thing. So if we want to cocoon some stuff, we can. I think right off the bat, maybe we don't. <laughs> we don't buy all of those. Again, you kind of want to. And territory is actually only used for that, right? I think I double checked this last time. We're not actually spending territory anywhere else. So yeah, we can do that. This is definitely maxed out though, right? No, it's not. Wow. That's how much energy we have. It's kind of crazy. We'll probably want to buy a bunch of, um, or probably all the night bugs. I don't think we actually care about using any of this. Clone larva. Is this what's cloned? Or what's um, cocooned? Clone of six million larva. Yes, you currently have included cocoons, um, musical larval, create. So we can create a ton more if we really want. Um, I don't think I want to do any of that. I think I just want to straight up do the night bugs. I think that's the best, right? Or actually, night bugs, increase the energy store. Oh, sorry, not that. This is the one I'm talking about. Um, we pretty much want to spend everything in here. Let's do like 75% uh, drop that in there and then go to 100% uh, and drop the rest of the night bugs. That allows us to store a little bit more, plus we make more. I guess. I, I don't really know. I should probably be using these powers more than I am. Um, and you guys can yell at me all you want. But we're going to do that, and then that is too much. Because we do need meat for um, creating these guys. So, let's do 25%. Um, 25%, 25%, 25%, in fact I did more than 25%, it's only doing one at a time, um, 3 DC is fine, 30, no, instead of like 200, but we're definitely not buying that, um, so that puts us in an okay spot, uh, let's do progression in here first, so we basically want to get as many hives as po or, um, hive queens as possible, which we cannot do currently, um, uh, we should probably do this, which is a lot of them, but it's okay. We want that, and then that would spend everything we have. So we're not gonna do that. We're definitely gonna buy these, which allow us to get the faster upgrade, which we definitely want. Um, how many of these do we need? We're making these really fast now. We are making those really fast. We can spend 100 of them as well to get these cheaper. Um, still to the point where it's like um, hard to like go in all the way in them, but I'll set it down to 25% and we will go in. Which then, let us go back to a hundred here, and buy a absolute ton. Boom. Which will then probably do that with, um, make them work a little faster, and then eat. Okay, we're definitely not going to make that happen. Hive queens are not happening at this part. We'll probably get them later on in the uh, episode for sure. Um, ooh, my recording software is kind of popping around. Okay, there we go. Um... Yeah, look at the twins. See, that twins is it's hard to hard to fight for. Again, it makes things cheaper, but how much cheaper? Half the price? I think it's like probably always worth doing. Because then again, say I spend 25%, go back to 100, then we can buy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely worth doing. That's been what is that spending all? Of? That's spending all of these guys. Okay. 
I think we're good. I want to do a little bit of territory upgrades before we go too crazy um, and spend everything, because we're definitely going to do that. Um, again, we still have the meat, technically, for that. But meat's going to get probably get blown here. I don't know what I want to do. Right now, we're making a grand total of 97 quadrillion. Uh, I believe most of that is in wasps. Yes, I was correct. Cool. So we got the devourer now. Or we got this, which is two quadrillion. Again, we can get the upgrades here. Oop, did I spend too much? I may have. No, QA is not that bad. And it's only 15. Oh. Oh, no, the next one's 15 billion. Whew. Uh, I was getting worried there. We do have 10 of these. Someone was saying to get the Scarab King. Uh, the Scarabs, uh, Golden Bugs appear each day. So we can get more of them a day. I don't even been collecting the 10 right now. I know that's probably what I should do. And honestly, I think I'm going to get it anyways because as far as what I'm using, I'm not really using those. And then each time you upgrade, you gain 5% offline boost. I might... Nah, I'm probably going to benefit from this more. Each level grants plus one per day. Spawning in... Uh, we get the spawn rate too. We we'll, might be able to get them within an episode. I just haven't left the game open enough. I'll just have to start doing that. Like leaving the game open enough to collect them all. Because right now I'm not making it worth it. It's hard to tell which one of these is going to be the best. Oh, I... <laughs> I didn't realize we were running out of larvae. Oh, crap. That was actually a lot I was spending. I'm trying to think of what the best way to do is. Spawning this sounds like it's the best, like right off the bat. I can buy a lot of this with all my meat, and then each one of these is producing that. I think it's going to be the best thing I can do. I'm just going to go in. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a ton. That's going to produce a lot for us. I mean, getting everything else makes sense, too. Getting a little bit of everything. These may have been, like... Uh, better. Wasps would have been an okay decision. I mean, they're all making a percent if I pop into them. I mean, the meat's going to be limited in all of them, so I'm going to try to get all these achievements by buying a lot of everything because we're definitely missing achievements. Where's the territory thing I was talking about? We can get rid of them to... There, where is that? A new ability. It didn't say where to do that. Is it... Invasions? Um... Ascend twice to unlock Stormlord Invasion Challenges. That, I think, is new. We're still looking to do the mutagen thing. Um, what are we at right now? 32 hatcheries and 50... Well, now 60, we'll say. Expansions. So our territory is going up like crazy right now. Um, okay, so we need either 80 expansions or 40 hatcheries. We're getting relatively close on both of them. And that unlocks the mutagen, which I forget exactly how much we should save up for. I don't know if it's going to show me the upgrades before we're forced to, you know, do anything or not. Um, but we should probably spend the rest of everything we have. Because right now, what's limiting us? It's, li it's literally these. Um, so we're done with this. We've, we've made so much progression here. Like, we're going to be able to get another one of these in a minute. Um, we've made a lot of progress there. We have to make progress here. Um, I mean, I'm going to go all in here. Because, again, then... Uh, I actually can't buy that many of those. Ooh, what's... Oh, awesome. You just found your first scrap of shard. Uh, something with the scare things that we're getting, right? Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. When you get a shard, give me your current lock random units. Get enough stacked up, and you unlock the golden version of that unit. Okay. I don't really know exactly what that affected. At all. Like, at, at all. Like, I'm completely lost on what that was, but okay. Cool. <laughs> Nonetheless, I could buy a bunch of these. Buying this realistically isn't going to do anything for me. We're being limited by larvae, which I guess I spent too much of on something. I thought I had more. But that's not really worth, but buying those is definitely worth. So we produce more of these uh, faster, basically. Um, but this episode, I'm definitely looking to get a Hive Queen. That's the goal. So uh, we're definitely going to be doing another day's worth of progress. 
in this episode, which these episodes might get upwards of 20 minutes sometimes. I'm going to try to keep them close to like 10, 15. Sometimes when I spend a lot of time, especially after a long weekend of not playing, um, yeah, we might, you know, might slack, slack a little bit with that. I definitely could be using some of this stuff. Um, I don't think we need to be doing too crazy in here quite yet. Um, what was that scarab thing I was talking about? The scarab shard. Is that this? Shard. Uh, shards are assigned to a random one of your units currently have a lock. Boost production by two. Yeah, okay, I get that, but how do, how do I see? Like, where do I see the shard at? I, I don't know. I don't know how to tell. I don't like see it on any of the icons or anything. I might be blind. Let me know if you guys know. I'm curious. But um, anyways, I'm gonna bounce out for now. See, we didn't like get all of these this part. I might leave the game open a little bit and try to grind them out. But um, yeah. Anyways, guys, we will uh, catch you guys a little bit of progress. In a bit. Minor update. I'm farming the rest of these scarabs, and I actually got one of the other shards. It said it was added to Roach. Um, I don't see a sign that actually shows it's on Roach. Um, so I don't know how to actually tell. Um, this now shows a one on it. Oh, that's the. Is, like, is it in one of these crystal shards? No, this is just that's literally the shop. Um, we did get it to roaches on one of them. I don't know where the first one said it is added, and I don't know how I'm supposed to know where they are. Was he always golden? I know I'm saying he thinks things golden sometimes. Was he always golden? I don't know. I'm a little confused on some of this. Um. Probably my fault for skimming through that a little bit instead of fully reading it. <laughs> but uh, I've been messing around with the prices on these as well. Um, leveling up these a bit when I can. And it seems like Devourer or Wasp actually could have possibly been better instead of going into Goon. But I don't regret Goon at all as we are making tons of progress. And I'm grabbing a couple more expansions while I wait anyways. Um, but yeah, just kind of doing the minor upgrades while I wait for this to come out again. Alright, so we're back once more. Um, been about two days um, or so. It's, you know, shows right there. Uh, we are going to claim this. I wish we'd be able to get a Hive Queen. No problem. Uh, that's the goal, at least. I want to start off by basically buying all of these because I don't think there's any reason why we wouldn't want to. It's a relatively decent bit of our meat, but kind of want it either way. So let's do that. Uh, I think spending things in here is the best bet as um, one of you guys actually pointed out, I forget who, but most of this stuff always in here is going to spend such a small portion of meat, we never even really need to like concern the meat, like at all. It's not even a concern um, compared to territory. And upon that, I guess you could spend territory because you're going to make enough meat to then just buy whatever in here anyways, but generally probably starting in this tab is going to work out better for us. So right off the bat, I can see we can afford almost 5 million of these, and that is maxing out on just our greater things as it barely spends anything else. We'll, I guess, touch a little bit of our 6 billion there, but not really. And we only need um, under a million to do that. So right there, buying all that makes the most sense. Uh, coming back here, doing this will be worth as well, but also... Um, Buying at least one of these. Don't know if I want to buy two, but nonetheless, there is our beautiful Hive Queen. Hive Empress is going to take a little bit of, little bit of time, but each Hive Queen will make six hives per second, which is pretty cool. We can also get the twins thing here, which we're definitely going to want, um, which means I'm actually losing another one of these. I don't really want to spend all of that. I always come into that problem where it's like, I don't want to spend everything I have in here. Although we still might be better off doing it. We'll be left with some, you know, let's just do it. We're going to be left with some. We need 10 of them to do another upgrade in here. But what we can do with that knowledge is I don't even know if we need a lot of this stuff. But we can buy all these upgrades. I'm not really buying these. As it would just spend way too much of those. I mean, it spends everything. But these upgrades don't really cost us anything. So we might as well, but we could buy so many of these if we want to spend I mean everything we have but say we when we go spend 25% boom which then we can also buy the faster for only 19 billion yeah the faster things are actually worth buying but I will get that go back to all and then come in here you can see we can buy a ton of them again uh, which is 
definitely what we want to do. Um, again, kind of just using up all of our greater queens there. Uh, we could buy up to 10 of these, which does technically allow me to buy this. Um, I don't want to be left with none, like nothing left though. I feel like leaving a good portion of our um, hives in here is smart. So I'll go back to 25%. We'll buy that like twice. We have five of them now. Sure. I think five is fine. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time as I know this video is kind of getting up there. Let's hop in here. See what we can do. I think the devourers are doing... No. The goons are actually... We didn't unlock anything new in here. Is that all we're going to get? That might actually be all we're going to get. Which means buying some of this stuff could be worth... It spends a lot of meat generally. Um, but look how many of these we could buy billions we're talking billions here right now we're in the millions i don't know what's technically the best this upgrade's crazy it's hard to tell if you i wish if you highlighted this it would tell me what it would produce because it's the same amount of billion of each actually it's the same amount so right then and there i mean we would have meat left if we buy this one but it's basically spending all of our spawners. But these are producing more than these are by a large amount. So honestly, all these are going to be limited by our... Yeah, none of those are worth. Even if we bought like upgrades under them, I don't think they'd be worth. It spends all of them. Ooh, that's the empower thing we were... Okay. Okay, so we have empowering. I was reading... We read about this, I think, earlier this episode. Where does empowering end? Here. Um, so let's start with Swarmlings, actually. So if we empower them, it doesn't spend much of anything. We boom, we do it. It now makes these do 100 quadrillion compared to 2 quadrillion. You can see the skyrocket on that. So basically, they're level 2. Um, and we can do the same thing in here. It's going to actually cost a decent bit to do this one. How much does this one cost? Why is this one so much more? I think we do them both. Quintillion and oh my god. So right now a hundred percent. This is really what we want Definitely do that and then I think we just drop everything in there Boom call it a day. That's now doing like, everything for me. That's gonna produce so much uh, Buying that and that something we'll do And we'll spend a little bit in here for ah -ha just to get a little bit on them, but easily that makes the most easily Although, ooh, I don't know, the Swarmlings may have been more worth. Hmm. The Swarmlings would have been better. That's crazy, actually. Doing a hundred quadrillion. Really? Could we buy, I guess we could buy that many more. But yeah, we have 6,000 of these. Okay, I lied. Swarmlings are where we want to be moving things to. So we will work on that. Uh, I think at this point, though, we're pretty much good on saving these. I don't think we care to cocoon them. Um, I do know we have... Do we have anything new in here? We're actually at 100%. Um, what does up here in the next to do? Just, it generates more, right? Uh, finally, a new Nexus, along with ultimate abilities, we've unlocked a new unit, Bats. Bats increase the power of our ability. That's what you basically boost later on. With Mutagen, you boost your Bats, which make all the rest of these better. Uh, so we'll put everything we have into Bats, and then I should have looked before, but you'll see like some of the abilities, like Clone Larva. I think Cloning Larva doesn't have to be what's Cocooned. No, including Cocooned. I thought it would had to be in co co Cocooned. Uh, do we have anything new in here? I think these are new. Um, can't really do anything because we're out of energy, so that's that. Um, I don't think we have to cocoon it. I think we're just going to go all in to here. That's basically everything, but then we can come back to here, and as long as we have enough of this stuff, we can spend up all of our greater queens. Bit, we are spending this, but the more of these we get, the more of these we can purchase. I'd like to get to the point of 10. I mean, Can already hatch 10 of these so let's do 50 percent we'll take five back to 100 we're doing this so that's everything should actually buy like 
one of those again for a second. I know we're going like overboard with this, but that should allow me to get, yeah, those back easier. You can see how much easier it is to build a ton of these with a lot less because of how, how much of these, how cheap these are. Because the price of these have been halved. So now, like, look. Um, again, I don't want to necessarily go too crazy. Don't necessarily want to go too crazy. 10 million, which then, again, this here, all the twinning basically makes half the resources. So all of these get halved. Um, which is pretty crazy. It's part of me that obviously wants to go all in with this. But I don't think it makes a lot of sense to. Uh, this is probably a good spot to wrap things up anyways. Let's get this just up to 20. That's at a relatively good number. Um, I don't know if it'll really make much over 920 highs a second. Not really, but like, if I buy another, you know, 10, it's only going to add, what, 60 onto that. So, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Basically, when we come back, we'll be able to make a lot more progress to it. What do we run out? We ran out of these guys. But I don't want to spend 10 million in that right now. That's something we'll do when we have more to actually spend. Got another expansion upgrade though, which is really nice. We are getting pretty close to the mutagen, which the game will kind of take a different turn. Um, at I don't, I don't, I don't think cocooning things makes a ton of percent. Again, it does it stop us? Does it lose our production? No, it doesn't. It just makes it so you can't spend it. I know that. But if I get the real reason why you would want to cocoon things, I definitely am not realizing what was the point of that again. But um, anyways, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please take a second and smack the like button. Um, it really does mean a lot. I uh, love, love the support on the series. This game is so much fun. I'm glad to be like pretty much replaying through it. Um, and yeah, as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.